Hello, my beautiful Librans. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Rising. Also, if you have a Venus or Mars in Libra in your natal chart, you may want to listen to this reading as well. Thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and the wonderful comments that you leave. I really do appreciate it. If you do subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on the notification button or the little bell in the um, corner there so that um, you will be notified immediately when I upload my videos. Also, my new website is about ready to launch. Um, if you would like to visit my website, you certainly can, uh, but the membership will not be available until about the 1st of November. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started with your reading. All the links for my website and the Vimeo extended readings for the month are gonna be below as well. All right, uh, Libra, what do we got going on? Well, Libra, for you, we've got the sun in your second house of self-value, the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own. The sun is shining on you regarding these particular areas of your life. Please make sure you put your best foot forward, all right, because your focus is going to be on this and other people's focus is going to be on this. Mercury is in your third house. The third house is ruled by Gemini. And for you, this energy is coming from Sagittarian as well. So you might have a Geminian or a Sagittarian that is of great significance to you as it relates to communication, social media, siblings, um, um, short distance travel, okay? Contracts, negotiations. So this could be energy that is circling around you at the present time. And these particular types of people might have something to do with this communication. It might have something related to your self-value. Venus is in your second house of self-value, the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own. In this particular case, there's love, there's abundance, there's kindness, and there's harmony coming towards you from this particular uh, type of uh, aspect, this particular type of energy. And this could be a Taurus person in your life because Taurus rules the second house. This could also be um, a Scorpio person in your life as well. There could be a lot of love and there could be even small financial gain in this particular area of your life. So you might be getting a raise for some of you Librans out there. Mars is in your first house. When Mars is in your first house, there might be people that are very aggressive around you. You could be very aggressive towards other people. You might have a short fuse. So this is definitely coming up. This could be another Libran person in your life or an Aries person in your life. Okay, this is all about your identity. You're passionate about your identity. Please make sure you move it more towards the passionate side as opposed to the aggressive side. Neptune on the 23rd is going direct. When Neptune was retrograde, it gave you an opportunity to look at things for what they really were. It also gave others around you an opportunity to look at things for what they really were. For you, this is in your sixth house of everyday duties, your reputation in the world, your workaday duties, your errands, okay, your reputation. Like I said, this could have something to do with a Virgo person in your life, or it could have something to do with a Piscean person in your life. They became clear. They became aware of what you were all about, and they decided to approach you in an appropriate manner. Now, for some of you out there, it may have caught you off guard. There may have been somebody that said, you know what, I don't want to see you anymore. I don't even want to be friends with you anymore. Um, I don't want to have anything to do with you. And um, they said it in a very strict way, but they also wished you good luck, love you, I wish you the best, but I will not be part of this energy anymore. You could be saying that to somebody or somebody could be saying that to you. So please be aware of that particular energy. Sometime between November 10th and December 5th, there is going to be great illumination in this particular area of your life. And I am sensing for a lot of you, this is going to be illumination with yourself, how you've treated others in the past and how others are treating you. The full moon is on the 4th of November. And for you, this is in your eighth house of joint finances and intimacy. There could be a Scorpio person that is of great significance in your life regarding this. This could also have something to do with a Taurus person in your life as well. So please be aware of that particular type of energy. Something is culminating, climaxing, or coming to an end. The new moon is on the 18th of November. And for you, this is in your second house of self-value, 
the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own. You could be getting a raise. You could be getting a new job. You could be starting a new job. Somebody around you could be starting a new job. Something is going on here, uh, Librans, where somebody is really stepping into their value and they want to make sure that you understand their value as well as you needing to understand your own value. So that is definitely coming up at the present time. Set your new moon intentions for what you want, not for what you don't want. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's take a look at what's going on with your tarot reading. All right, what is the tarot reading for Librans for November of 2017? November of 2017, Librans, Librans. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck and pull cards in sequence. Okay, here's the deck. I'm cutting it. All right, here we go. Here is your energy for general energy. Here is your work life, financial life. Here is your emotional life and love life. And here is your health and your well-being. So what do we have going on for you as it relates to your area of focus for Librans? Area of focus. Area of focus. Area of focus for Librans. There it is. All right, Librans, what have we got going on for your general energies for the month of November of 2017? Librans, you do have the Five of Cups. There is something that you really regret that happened or somebody around you is really regretful of maybe something they said, something they did. Um, again, I'm feeling more it's coming from you than them, but something, there's still a friendship here. There's still something to be salvaged. It could even be a lesson. Okay, so this lesson might be giving you a lot of um, information for you to be able to move forward on your path as it relates to learning a lesson on what it is you shouldn't do versus what it is you should do regarding other people, regarding emotions. There was something around you that was highly toxic. You could have been in a situation possibly where, um, you know, you were seeing more than one person. They were seeing more than one person. There was, there was a feeling of loss because you couldn't make a decision. And sometimes Librans do fall into that category where they're like, oh, what about this person? What about this person? I don't want to hurt their feelings. I don't want to hurt their feelings. You know, because of the back and forth that you were going on, that was going on in your mind, someone decided to say, I'm gone. I'm out of here. Just take me out of your mind because honestly, I don't even want to occupy that space. You could also be saying that to somebody else. But there could be apologies that are coming up here. They could be apologies coming from you or they could be apologies coming from somebody else. Just be aware of that. But there is some sort of regret or some sort of loss. So what is going on as it relates to your work life and your financial life? For your work life and financial life, you do have the world card. When you have the world card, Librans, you are definitely looking at completion regarding a situation in your life. This may have completed a cycle in your life. So you might have been on a vicious cycle for whatever reason. This could have been somebody that you worked with. So please be aware of that as well. There was a level of vulnerability here. You either made them feel vulnerable or they made you feel vulnerable. But there is definitely something coming out here. This is also a need to protect yourself. So please protect yourself at work. Protect your reputation. Very important. There might be somebody around you that's protecting their reputation and protecting their work. You know, protecting yourself from uh, plagiarism, protecting yourself from copy, you know, copyright law and everything else. So please make sure that you're aware of this particular type of energy. Something is coming to completion as it relates to your finances. You might be completing a car payment. You might be completing a mortgage payment. Um, you're paying things off. All right. For some of you Librans out there, um, there could be something where, you know, People were trying to get into your business and you were trying to keep them out of your business. That could certainly be as well. Um, this is protecting your work. Like I said, anything that you've produced, whether you're in school, whether you're retired, whatever it is, you are protecting something. For some of you, you might be uh, putting a fence up around your property as well. So please be aware of that. For some of you, you need to make sure that you're not distracted 
when you are doing something for whatever reason. So take that in whatever way that makes sense to you. So what do we have going on as it relates to your emotional life and your love life? For your emotional life and your love life, you do have the nine of pentacles. I am sensing for many of you Librans out there that you are potentially looking at buying a property with a loved one, with somebody that you're married to. You're looking at properties. You're trying to find the most comfortable place to live. For others of you Librans out there, you don't even want anything to do with dating anyone. There could be somebody around you, maybe that you were interested in. They came up to you and said, I am not interested in you. In, in fact, I am not interested in anyone. So basically what happened here is they said, I just want to be friends. And that's okay, Libran. For some of you out there, this could be where this person feels, I'm, I'm going to say it, guys. I don't know why it's coming up this way, but they, they feel better without you than they did with you. Or you could be feeling that way about them as well. So what do we have going on as it relates to your health and your well-being? You do have the six of wands. The six of wands is beautiful. This is victory. This is, this is recognition. This is success. But, but the thing we've got going on, your general energy is the five of cups. So basically what was going on here, Librans, is that perhaps you were giving more time to another individual. You were taking them out on dates. You were spending time with them. You were inviting them over. And then maybe you had somebody on the side. I am sensing a real narcissistic energy here. So guys, remember, this goes both ways, but I'm always going to speak if it is you that this is happening to, okay? But it always goes both ways. Could be coming from you, could be coming to you from someone else. But this is a narcissistic energy. This is where you put yourself in a position to possibly be with somebody else but what happened and what you did was um, perhaps you were texting this other person while you were with this person that you were dating just to make them believe that you were interesting. Like you were, you were getting energy from somebody, like energy and love from somebody else, but you weren't giving it back to them. You were giving it to somebody else. Or remember, vice versa, they could have been doing that to you. So please be aware of that. But there is some sort of victory here. Also, this could be where you went through a stage of regret and loss and now you're coming out of it. This could also be a health routine that is really paying off for you. So please be aware of that as well. So what do we have going on for your area of focus? Path of service. When you have path of service as your area of focus, you really, really have to look at your own spiritual path. What are you creating, Librans? Put your best foot forward. What is it that you want to create? What is it that you want to manifest? If you want to manifest truth, if you want to manifest love, you must give truth. You must give love. Very important. What you give, you receive. Okay, so work on the giving and the receiving in November of 2017 for some of you you may want to consider um, going into the, the clergy, okay, at church. You may want to volunteer at the church or volunteer for some sort of charity that is going on at the present time as well. All right, guys, I hope you like this reading. I know they're short this time, but it takes almost two hours to load a video that is longer than 20 minutes. So I just want to make you aware. I want to give you all of the information I possibly can to help you. And if you need more information, please join me on Vimeo for your extended reading. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.